which you guys got another video find out everything about your pc now a lot of people build pcs or have a pc that they don't know what's inside of it sometimes they buy a pre-built pc and they want to know exactly what parts are what the serial numbers are and what the model numbers are you can use hw info to get all of the pc hardware specifications and also monitor all of the pc hardware inside that computer you can either use the installer program or use the portable application as well so we're going to take a quick look at this because quite a few people always ask me about hw info so that we're going to go ahead and take a look at it you've got sensor only and summary only let's start off with the summary only uh, part first and open this up as you can see on my computer this has given me a full summary of what my computer is and what parts and what settings are inside the computer without undoing the computer side panel you can see we do have our gpu information here it tells me the operating system that i'm using it also tells me the operating system uefi boot secure boot tpm and all that information on there whether we've got that enabled underneath the motherboard section it tells me the motherboard model number it also tells me the chipset it will give you the bios date and it also gives you the bios version which is uh, installed on that motherboard here it tells me uefi here moving on down here we've got some other information about the memory it tells me ddr5 also how much memory is in here 32 gigabytes gives me the timings on that memory whether it's dual channel and it tells me a load of useful information about just the memory and the motherboard in this section you can see here it will give you all of the readouts for that particular type of memory that you have this is ddr5 6000 megahertz it'll tell you whether the memory is eec and you can also see here it gives you the full specifications of the ram here and whether expo is enabled or XMP is enabled and it will tell you the voltage of that memory as well. Now, moving over this section here, you've got a little drop down area here for the memory modules, and this will give you, and this also gives you the name of the memory. You can see it's G skill memory here, and it will give you the code so you can look for that memory if you want to try and buy some more match paired memory, the same as you have in that motherboard. Moving on to the CPU area, tells me what CPU is in here what code name is a Raphael and you can see here the TDP and also we have the AM5 platform here gives you a bunch of features that are enabled inside uh, there as well and you can see we've got the uh, settings all highlighted in green here which tells me AMD-V is enabled which is for the virtual machine so as you can see without actually booting into the BIOS or even open up the side panel to physically look at the hardware itself we can get a full rundown of what's actually on this computer or in the computer and what's running and in this section you can see minimum clock base clock boost clock pbo max and all the information that you may require moving back over to the right hand side here we can now see the drives the drives that are in this system we've got an nvme four times 8.2 gt forward slash s which is the ct 400p uh, drive in here and we also have the western digital black in here as well which is a two terabyte drive the other one's a four terabyte so you've got all your timings for your memory everything is listed right here on this section so once you've got all of this information it's quite useful to have this especially if you're asking for help on some sort of discord or forum but let's take a look at this sensor information this is where you're going to get all your temperatures and other information that the sensor can pull off the system so let's have a look here at this so we can see it's broken down into sections and this is on the sensor section tells me the board here system is an asus board and we can move on down and you can see we've got all of the page file usage physical memory load and so on and so on up the top there moving on down to the cpu section this will give you all of the vids here for the cores and in voltage here moving on down to the core clocks and we can see the core clocks here all listed right here and again it's on current minimum maximum and average here you can pull these out a little bit so you can see these a bit clearer but whatever setting you're trying to look for on the cpu it will be listed in this cpu section here and you'll get all of the readings like your bus clock and also your average effective clock 
and also your max CPU thread usage and total CPU usage, core utility, and so on there. Moving on down, we also have some timings here. This is all your memory timings here. So if you wanted to know what your memory timings are, that's where you would find them on here. Again, moving on down a bit further, this is all to do with the CPU here, and you'll see all of the voltages and current temperatures here for that CPU. This is not the overall temperature. Uh, that will be under the package section a little bit further down. So, But this useful information here as well if you're trying to keep an eye on uh, certain uh, voltages here. So let's move on down here a little bit further. So you can see your SOC voltage here as well and your VDD voltage right there. And we can come on down a little bit further. And there's some more information here about the watts uh, being drawn for the CPU here as well. So if you wanted to check out the watts for the CPU. Now remember, this is sens sensor information, so it's not 100% accurate, uh, but it does give you a good indication. This is all the thermal throttling area here. So if your CPU is starting to thermal throttle, it will show up here and tell you how much it's thermal throttling by. And again, it will start to ramp down the CPU if you are having thermal throttling issues. And this is normally when you're gaming or benchmarking and stuff, you might see some thermal throttling here. If you're running a laptop or something like that, or a mini PC, you're not going to get that on a, a main PC. You shouldn't be. So moving on down further, we've got the main motherboard here. That's given us the temperature, the current temperature, the minimum, maximum, and average here. And also the CPU packet, that is going to be our CPU temperature as well and uh, moving on down a little bit further you've got the v core here and your plus 5 volts and so on your 12 volts all here listed so you can get a good idea of what's actually going on the cpu soc here 1.376 volts on here so if these are really super high and they're not meant to be that high like there was an issue with the 7700x back in the day that was up into the one 0.5 volts which was way too high uh, so it had to be lowered down but now it's everything's working okay also the pump here we can see the pump is running on the all-in-one pump there for the cpu cooler and we also have the chipset here as well and it will give us this red area here this is because of the particular type of board here this has all been disabled for some reason um, but yeah that's all the settings here so let's come down a little bit further here, and we do have some other settings which we can take a look at here, which is your DDR5, which is our RAM here. And you can see some useful areas like high temperatures or over voltage or under voltage here. Also coming on down a little bit further, you can see it's listed all of these, and we've got the smart readout for the drives here, tells us the current temperatures, and also whether the drive is failing or warnings. We've got none of those happening here. Same with the other drive as well. Everything is working perfectly fine. You can also see the uh, reads and writes here as well for the particular drives. Gives you all that information right here, which is quite useful. And again, you're going to get the serial number and some information there on the drive as well. Uh, if you needed that information, it would all be on this particular software. So it's quite useful for that particular type of stuff. And you can see the total host writes and total host reads as well. So to see how much data you've been writing to that drive. So if you've been really hammering your drive quite a bit and you're getting towards your threshold of how many uh, reads and writes you can do to that drive, it will tell you right here. So you can see also here under the GPU section, this is the onboard GPU here on this particular chip. It does tell us the temperatures here and the actual uh, GPU utilization. There is no utilization because we're using a graphics card. And again, moving on down, this is the graphics card information for the GeForce RTX uh, 4070 Ti. And that will give you all the information about your graphics card. Whether the fans are spinning, you can see they're not spinning right now. They're at zero RPM. So if you want to read all of this information, it's very useful. And you can also get the power draw on there as well for that card. So it is a very useful piece of software to have. Now, also down the bottom right hand side here, you can see reset minimum max average values here. So, for instance, if you was doing a test and it was uh, all red and you wanted to retest it after you've undervolted or you've done something, you can reset the clock right here and reset that. And so you can see the uh, updated 
uh, settings that you've done here. You can also log everything here. And there's also some settings here, which is out of the scope of this video, but this is uh, something that you can mess around with as well. If you want to see a separate video on this, let me know. I did a video on this about having the HW Info gadgets on your desktop so you can see your temperatures uh, displayed at all times on your desktop. If you wanted to see an updated video, let me know. Uh, but that is the settings pane here for the HW Info. Quite a useful bit of program. It's probably one of the best ones out there if you do like to monitor stuff and you want to constantly check certain things if you think there's something wrong with your graphics card or with your CPU or your over overheating or you want to undervolt and see what the voltages are. You can check all that inside here. Very, very useful bit of kit. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.